It's D from the Varsity Show, Demon Squirrel, right here at CrossFit Chicago with Johnny Wu, the managing director and coach here at Chicago, uh, CrossFit Chicago. Uh, hey, you all have barbells for booze. It's like a tongue twister, but it's a good yeah, cause. It's a barbells, good. barbells for booze. You can say that as many times you want to. Barbells for booze. <laughs> booze. Right, right. So, uh, say. how was the uh, Oh, that was fantastic. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, we don't have final uh, numbers yet, how much we raised, but it's well over $4,500. Um, it was nice because all the CrossFit affiliates, all the CrossFit gyms in Chicago, which are all independently owned and operated, decided to join forces today and fight breast cancer as, a, as one unit. Nice, nice. Let's get a little background on you. How did you get into CrossFit? You know, it was very random. I was uh, working at a gym and was getting into the kettlebell thing and really high intense workouts. And uh, I was like, why am I paying $130? Uh, if all I'm just using is kettlebells. So I look for a kettlebell gym and um, you know, this guy named Rudy Tapala came up on my search and he's like, hey, you know, I do kettlebells, but try this out, try CrossFit out. And I was like, I gave it a go and it was a very basic workout. It took me about eight minutes to finish and I was on the ground crying for my mom <laughs> for about 20 minutes. I was like, this is where I want to be. Because right, right. you push yourself, you push yourself so hard and you, you think you know your limit, but you have no idea. You keep, that limit keeps getting pushed further and further back. Every time you come into CrossFit, and it's not just a workout; it's a lifestyle. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, you start to get stronger mentally, not only physically. You start to, uh, you know, have very common bonds with people you work out with because you all suffer the same way. I, mean, I say suffer in the most kindest fashion. Right, too. right. Um, but you're all in it together. Uh, we push each other, and you know, we support each other. So if I know one of my buddies hasn't come to the gym like for three or four days, I'm calling up and say, "Hey, what's going on, buddy?" So we hold each other accountable, which is very important. So where do you see yourself uh, in CrossFit Chicago going in the near future? What's the what's coming up? Well, I Chicago? think I think CrossFit in general is just going to be getting bigger and bigger. Uh, we just moved into this big space here, uh, adding more classes. So you know, if at the end of the day we can get more people in the best shape of their life, we're going to do it. So uh, and CrossFit's the way for so many people. Um, you know, my my role here is to keep you know finding those people that say that think they can't do CrossFit mm -hmm. to come in here and actually try it out. And once they find out that everything is scalable, you know, we cater to every type of physical um, well-being. Like if you walked into the gym yesterday, or you haven't walked into the gym in 15 years, you know, we can make CrossFit work for you. Nice, nice. And if anyone wanted, if anyone wanted to get in touch with you while without CrossFit, yeah. how would they do that? Well, just find us on our um, on our website, CrossFitChicago.com, or uh, you know, tweet us. Uh, at CrossFit Chicago. Uh, just let us know that you're interested and we'll set you up with a one-on-one -on -one training session with the coach. Talk about your goals, you know, what you want out of CrossFit, let you know how we do things here at our gym. Nice, nice. So, this is Johnny Boo, D of the Varsity Show. Hey, get in contact with CrossFit Chicago. I'm very interested. Yeah, we're going to see you in there. Hey, he's going to try to hold us Yeah, hey. accountable. Hey, thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks, D. Appreciate hey, it. This is D of the Varsity Show. Back to you. This is the Mon Squirrel of the Varsity Show out here at uh, Chicago CrossFit Chicago. Crossfit Chicago uh, with Elizabeth okay. and Z uh, Barbells for Boots. So, uh, Z, first off, how did you come up with the first of for Barbells for Boots? Um, in 2009, my best friend was diagnosed with breast cancer in 26, and this was more, I just put on a fundraiser, just the Grace, CrossFit Workout Grace, to raise money to help her get through her journey, and it kind of just turned into something bigger than that. The CrossFit community embraced it, and um, our first year we raised $4,000, and she didn't want it, so I started a foundation, and we provide mammograms for uninsured and underinsured women under 40, and the second year we raised 300000 and our goal this year is $1.3 million. And how did you get hooked up with Barbara's Uh I was, I heard it about it through my CrossFit Chicago community, um, and then also Reebok is one of the sponsors, um, and is also sending uh, Reebok sponsored athletes to many, if not all, the tour stops, okay. um, kind of just to add a fun element and um, show Reebok support of um, Grabs in Action. Um, so I'm specifically here representing Reebok, but also just as part of the CrossFit Chicago community. Mm -hmm. So that's how I heard about it. Nice, nice. Now, this is the first time here in CrossFit Chicago. What do you think of the city? Um, amazing. Definitely different. I mean, it's a city, so uh, I come out from SoCal, so our, our places are usually in an industrial area and actually have streets to run on. I don't know where you guys run. <laughs> but amazing. I mean, this is our first time we did a venue where we had two separate rooms and, um, you know, traffic all day coming in and out. 
and food trucks outside of. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> food trucks outside. So how did you get into the whole culture? I like to ask that every time I come out to one of these. Okay. Um, in 2007, my my boyfriend at the time he was an amateur boxer in New York, and uh, he was just reading up on a on a magazine, and it said, "So you think you're fit? Try this." And we went to the main site, and our first workout was Murph, and I was addicted ever since. So. If anybody knows what Murph is. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, everybody who knows what Murph is, what is that? It's a, a mile run, and then 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then another mile run. Wow. You're making me look bad. Okay, so <laughs> right. how, how did you get into it? So, no, yeah, yeah. yeah um, my sister heard about it through part of the rugby community in um, Minneapolis, which is interesting, different sports mm -hmm. um, kind of utilize CrossFit as, as supplementary training, and now CrossFit has become a sport in, in itself. Right. Um, but anyway, she heard about it through some rugby friends and uh, sent me to the link. We have a headquarters uh, at www.crossfit.com. And if you go there, there's some information. Um, but I couldn't make too much sense of it, so I just Googled CrossFit Chicago. And I found CrossFit Chicago. And it started coming in. I came in my, my very first workout. I was, I was hooked. It's just it's an incredible experience. So you have, so you have to have some sort of like athletic back get into it or no? You don't. It's, it's completely possible to any of the ways. You know, the only unfortunate thing about uh, having the CrossFit Games televised is you're seeing one particular level of performance. Mm -hmm. But it, it, my son did the workout breaks today. I mean, he's four years old. So you can have people from survivors. CrossFit Kids that started. Yep, survivors. There's a survivor seat, cancer survivors. Okay. Um, anyone from CrossFit Kids starts at four up to senior citizens. and. Um, it's completely scalable to any ability level. Nice, nice. So how can people find out more about Barbells for Boobs? Barbells for Boobs. <laughs> yeah, tell us what's Barbells for Boobs. Yeah, so Barbells for Boobs is our fundraising efforts that provide the funding for our foundation, which is Mammograms in Action. So if you'd like to get involved and donate, you can go to barbellsforboobs.com, or if you want to find out more about the uh, foundation, mammogramsinaction.org. Nice. And how can people find out more about your Juices and go into your competition. Sure. Um, Always check out CrossFitChicago.com. Um, I actually have a blog now. It's ElizabethAckMolly.com. Nice. Nice. Um, so anytime I'm particip participating in an event like this, um, it'll be posted there. So. And upcoming events? Uh, upcoming. Well, we're we're going on tour, so we're this is our 15th stop on a cross country tour. So our next stop is yeah, Empty Page tomorrow, and then we're in Columbus on Tuesday, and then we're in. DC on Thursday and then New York on Saturday and Boston on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, really getting around the country. Barbells for booze. Thank you, Z. Thank you, Thank you. so much for taking the time out. And this is the From the Show.